Hey everyone, it's Dan and Mike, and we're here with the Beer Draft. What are we drinking this week, Dan? All right, so today we have from Founders Brewing Company, we have their Porter. No mm -hmm. fancy name to it, it's just their version of the Porter, Porter. which I think is cool. I like it when breweries have uh, just their standard styles, a Porter, IPA, yeah. this, that, the other. And we saw that with the uh, Mount Carmel beer that we drank. It yeah. was just called a Blonde Ale. Yeah. So Founders, they're just calling it a Porter. Mm -hmm. I like that. All right. And so Founders was founded in 97 in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Mm -hmm. And um, Dark, yeah, they've rich, sexy. Yeah. Uh, it's got a lot to live up to. So this is a robust porter. Mm -hmm. It's got 6.5 ABV, mm -hmm. uh, 45 okay. IBU. So should taste a little, a uh, few hops in there. Okay. But uh, yeah, not too shabby on uh, the ABV, but not overwhelming. Um, you know, we had reviewed that other porter earlier from Ballast Point. From Ballast Point, uh, hefty 10%. So yeah, that was a strong Six one. and a half, a little bit more drinkable for sure. All right. Looks like we've got some good head there, a nice dark brown color. Yeah, it looks good. So I, I'm uh, interested to try this. As you know, porters are not usually my thing, but uh, I'm always willing to try a new beer. All right. Well, I appreciate that because I love porters. So, so it's super dark, pitch black, again, like yeah. a porter should be. And that really tan head, mm -hmm. I mean like a deep tan head. And it's just hanging out there, it's got a persistence head to it. Mm -hmm. So let's see what it smells like. Smell a little, little bit of the hops. Yeah, I'm not getting a ton of scent. Yeah, other than the small bit of hops I can smell, I can't can smell any of the normal porter scents to it. Yeah. Yeah, and so this is not, not like a coffee porter or something like that, just straight up porter. I think so, yeah. All right, well, let's give it a taste. All right. Hmm. So it's got... Um, hmm. Yeah, it's I, I interesting. Don't, I don't know that I'm getting a lot of flavor on this beer. No, it's the carbon... You can feel the carbonation. And it's I noticed got, that. Right like a front. really dry finish all of a sudden. Yeah. Which yeah, you're right. Feels like it takes the taste right with it. And I would almost describe this beer as thin. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like there's a lot of body to this beer. Yeah, it's definitely thinner than the Ballast Point Porter that we reviewed earlier. Yeah, oh man, that dry finish, you're absolutely right. It's just, it's gone. Yeah. It's definitely taking it away. So what does it taste like? I can't tell you because it disappeared. I mean, it's not, it's not an offensive taste. I'm not going to say that, but I'm not getting those normal kind of toasty malt flavors, kind of the burnt um, flavors that you kind of get with those porters, the smokiness that you would normally expect. I'm mm -hmm. not really getting that come yeah, through. Yeah, me neither. Um, Interesting. Now, what other kinds of beers does Founders have? So they've got, they've got a few different IPAs, uh, a lot of different ones. They also have a Nitro series. Uh, okay. And we've reviewed a Nitro before from Left Hand. Yeah, that um, seems to be becoming more and more popular, the Nitros. Mm -hmm. And they've got some other seasonal and specialty beers as well. Hmm. But um, one of their porters, or one of their stouts, is supposed to be really, really good. And they, they release it, um, I don't know exactly when they release it, but I think it's called the Kentucky breakfast stout and it's apparently a, yes. a big deal when they release it yeah I, i'll uh, tell you a little story about that i have a, a friend who always makes sure that he gets that uh, breakfast stout yeah and I, and that is excellent that is a really good mm -hmm. beer a very strong coffee flavor to it very heavy thick beer um so when that next time that comes out that might be one for us to yeah, sure. to give we'll a shot that up so um again I, I don't think that this beer was bad i just don't necessarily think it it's going to be um a porter that's going to change my mind on porters, you know. Yeah, I think I'll agree with you. There's lots of por Of course, I like porters. Yeah. And this one on the range of the ones that I enjoy the most, it's probably somewhere right in the middle there. Yeah. It's just, um, there's nothing too special about it that stands out. Yeah. Well, if you've had this porter and you like it, make sure you let us know about it in the comments below. Also, make sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And make sure to hit that subscribe button so that you can see all of our future videos as well as our videos from the past. And until next time, we'll see you later. All right, see ya.